Hey guys, welcome to another algebra lesson. Today we're going to talk a little bit more about straight line equations. Uh, you can see that on the left hand side I have drawn a graph of a straight line and uh, let's say that this straight line has uh, <clears throat> an equation of y equals mx plus c and we know straight away that the uh, y-intercept is c so c equals negative 3 because c is the y-intercept now what is the gradient? well the gradient is rise over run and we can see that the rise from this point here to this point here is three units right it's gone up by three units so the rise is three and the run is also three because from the point on the left to the point on the right you've gone to the right by three units so three over three is one so this equation is y equals one x which is just x minus 3. So that is the equation of this line. So that's just a, a little bit of a review from last lesson. Now today we just want to talk a little bit more about these two points here of this straight line. And the first point here, we already know that this point is called the y-intercept. Because this point is where this straight line touches the y-axis. Now this point here, the point on the right-hand side, is actually called the x-intercept. I'll use a different color this is called the x-intercept and the reason why it's called the x-intercept is because this is where the line touches the x-axis and this point here is called the y-intercept because this is where the line touches the y-axis so let's explore the x and the y-intercept a little bit further Now we can see that at the x-intercept, the y-coordinate is 0. So the coordinates for the x-intercept is... Uh, so we write the x-coordinate first, which is 3, and the y-coordinate is 0. So this is how you write the coordinates for any point on a Cartesian plane. You write the x-coordinate first then you write the y-coordinate. So x-coordinate is 3 because horizontally this point sits on 3 y-coordinate is 0 vertically this point is on 0. Now let's look at the y-intercept. The y-intercept has a x-coordinate of 0 and y coordinate of negative 3. Right, vertically, this point is on y equals negative 3. So, what that means is the x intercept uh, occurs when y is equal to 0. And the y intercept occurs when x is equal to 0. Right? Because this first number here represents the x coordinate and the second number here represents the y coordinate. So when x is 0, y is negative 3 and this is the y intercept of this line. Okay, so 
Now let's have a look at this equation again, y equals x minus 3. And without drawing this line, let's say someone asked a question. Write down the coordinates. for the x and y intercepts for the equation y equals x minus 3 so what you can do is without even drawing the graph you can say x intercept let's use another color x intercept occurs when y is equal to 0 so you're going to substitute 0 into this formula where y is so 0 is equal to x minus 3 now you're going to solve this equation in the same way as we talked about earlier on where we want to make x the subject so we move the minus 3 to the other side which becomes plus 3 0 plus 3 equals x so x equals 3 or x equals 3 whichever way you want to write it so the coordinates for x intercept is uh, you write down the x coordinate first so it's 3 and y is equal to 0 and you can see this matches our graph x intercept occurs when x is 3 y equals 0 but we didn't need to draw the graph we didn't need to draw the graph to find out where the x intercept was now let's look at the y intercept so the y intercept occurs when x is equal to 0 so in the equation y equals x minus 3 we're going to substitute in 0 into x so y equals 0 minus 3 y equals negative 3 so the y intercept is 0 negative 3 so we have found both the x and the y intercepts without drawing the straight line so let's do another example so let's do find the x and y intercepts of the equation uh, y equals 6x minus 4 okay so x equals uh, y intercept occurs when x is equal to 0 so y equals 6 times 0 minus 4 which is minus 4 so y intercept occurs at 0 negative 4 and the x intercept occurs when y is equal to 0 so y is equal to 6 times x minus 4 0 is equal to 6x minus 4 4 is equal to 6x since we move the negative 4 onto the other side which becomes positive 4 x equals 4 divided by 6 which is also equal to Uh, 2 over 3 okay now uh, sorry the x-intercept is uh, 
2 over 3, 0. And now that you have the x and the y intercepts, it's actually quite easy to draw the graph. So if you draw the axes, so hard to draw straight lines on this. Um, okay, so let's say you draw a straight line properly. Yes. And let's draw another straight line. So we have the x and the y axes. Now we know the y-intercept occurs at 0, minus 4. So minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4. And this is 0, of course. So the first point lies right here for the y-intercept. Now let's look at the x-intercept. x-intercept occurs at 2 thirds, so not even 1. So let's say we have 1, 2, 3. X intercept occurs at 2 thirds. So it's about here. It's about here. And once you have the two points, you can easily join up the two points to give you a straight line. Preferably you would draw this with a ruler. And this here is our equation y equals 6x minus 4. Okay, thanks for watching the tutorial on x and the y intercepts. See you next time.